everyone my name is Baiju Shodran here I am showing how to draw in rivet like uh, electrical cable trays so here is one I have one fan uh, plan so I am planning to do one uh, draw one electrical cable trays and uh, some panels I need to fix here so first of all the work set I kept it in uh, electrical cable tray you know already I create one video for uh, how to do the work sets so this is consider this is our electrical room this is the one our system tools so we need to use the mechanical items and electrical items and plumbing items something like, like this lot of things we have here so first of all I will I, um, I need to make some electrical cables right? and some uh, place some some electrical equipment also so here i placing i have one db so i just pick it this one here so the elevation i will just place uh, for temporary i place just 800 from the uh, level so i place one and i place here one the space tab you can rotate in this one so and one more create similar I place it here okay so we will go for the 3d yeah it's look like this okay so the DBs are placed here so this is a, just a tutorial you can uh, modify as per your requirement you can modify all the things so once go here I need to draw some cable trace here so first of all I select this one and uh, you can take uh, some elevation 2.5 a cable trace size you can select it from here so I am just taking 100 to 100 mm um, cable tray here you can change the duplicate this one you can change the name like uh, power one like that you need to do some names I am just choosing power one okay click ok so I'll start from here one cable tray I just uh, click somewhere I okay so here I need, I need to draw this route so, and I need to go for here and go for here up to up to wherever you want okay so I use up to here this cable tray once you go for a 3d view yeah it's look like this so here it's not required up to here so we can we can stretch up to whatever the area required so the cable tray are created here so if you go th the go there it, it's it's needed to you can adjust like uh, like wherever you need like this you can adjust it so you need to make another cable tray uh, the name is uh, like uh, power power 2 okay okay so I will just take it from here and I just choose this one uh, parallel with this this one so up to here I need this one you can change the uh, select this one Ta tab it you can select it and you can you can change the uh, size also you can adjust like this even this one also you can adjust up to here okay so these two cable trays are fit from this db for example okay so you need to drop down also cable tray from here so how to do that one you just make go to here the section and take one uh, section mark uh, like this sorry uh, section straight section you can take it and uh, that one go to view so you can uh, get the view of that uh, section part so you make it uh, this one 25 fine so our cable tray are here uh, so you need to draw uh, drop up to here uh, to this one so just click here and uh, draw click this point draw cable tray and make it like this so it is created like uh, like this and it so it was dropped to our uh, system so if you go to the 3d 
so it is dropping to this dropping to this panel okay so we have another cable tray also you just flip it this one on another side and move it here go to the view and same thing you can do it from here uh, from here draw cable tray yeah up to here and uh, just move it to align with the, that one okay once you go to the 3d view yes it was uh, on on that uh, panel so like that you can uh, adjust the cable trays uh, uh, you can modify the cable tray length and everything so see this cable tray is uh, drop down to the drop down to the panel Uh, like this so if, if you want to make another one create similar and you can change this one uh, size here 200 and even the level also you can change it to from here to 700 so and drop uh, draw like this and this one also you can uh, give the name duplicated power 3 